hi guys hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel i know some of you are giving me the bombastic side eye like you guys are saying is the audacity for me like who is she to just waltz in here and be like hi guys what edakon please that is why i'm recording this video i'm here to explain why i have been mia so let's just title this video the life update you didn't ask for but i'm going to give it to you anyway so welcome Before I get into the video, I want to rant. So you see this device. I'm sure you guys know it. Everybody and their grandmother has it. I bought it because I wanted to be able to create content easily. So it's a wireless device. This is the mic. It comes in a pair, so there are two of them. And it, this is the receiver. You see this receiver? This thing has been stressing the hell out of me because no matter how long I charge it, it doesn't come on. And the most annoying thing is, when I got this package, I checked it, it was working. Now the return policy timeline has elapsed, so I can't even return it, so I'm stuck with my lapel mic. But that's not why we're here. Let's get right into this video. So guys, this video, I'm going to take it in. Ignore that I'm sitting on the floor. If I tell you how many times I've tried to record this video, this is like my fourth time. I think I'm rusty with setting up and all whatnot, so let's just make do with this setting for now until I figure it all out. So that's why I'm on the floor, because this just works for me right now. I'm recording on my phone. So we're going to take this video in chapters and so that we can have a flow and you guys will understand the different things that have been happening with me. So the first chapter would be, um, hmm, what should we start with? So last year, as at the time I posted this video, which I believe was my only video last year. I'm not sure, but I think that was my only video. I know I talked about so many things like, oh, how I want to learn how to do makeup for myself, how I want to start editing videos for people, how I want to be more consistent in creating content, all of that, and then I disappeared. But as at the time I recorded that video, I was working in Ikeja. So I had been working there for a while. And to be honest, I was becoming very restless, I was becoming tired, work just felt very mundane, like it wasn't, it wasn't as tasking and as challenging. Now don't get me wrong, I don't like to carry work on my head, but at least let me work my brain a bit now. So I just felt like I wasn't scratching the surface of my potential. So I left and I transitioned into another job where for those of you who do not know i am a copywriter communications manager and social media manager that's even a mouthful copywriter communications manager social media manager yeah so i transitioned out of that job into another job where i was yes i know i said where i was <laughs> i'm getting to it where i also worked as a communications manager and a social media manager now this job i transitioned into now i've currently transitioned out I was, it was a great place, you know, I was working with fantastic people, but the structure wasn't really it for me, like, it, let's not get, go into detail, the structure wasn't really it for me, so I transitioned out of that one, so I'm currently a communications manager for the company, and I'm happy, so that's it with work, um, what's the next thing I want to talk about? I feel like this should be the first thing I talked about because it's it's like the bane of everything that's going on with me, you know. Last year, my mental health went like this. And it was crazy. I was constantly overwhelmed. I was dealing with anxiety. I was dealing with bouts of depression. I was dealing with burnout. And it's really it was a really tiring and tough phase for me because regardless of all the things I was feeling I would still wake up every day and show up so I would have to show up for work I'd have to show up for friends I would have to show up for family and thinking about it now there are a lot of things I should have said no to I could have said no to but I was just showing up for, for, for different things and at the end of the day when my head hits the pillow i'm so burnt out physically mentally i'm exhausted some nights i would even cry myself to sleep 
it's it's so ridiculous my mental health took a really really deep dive currently i wouldn't say it's up there because there are some days it's to try and come up and then be like nope still going down but i'm good at showing up you will even know do you understand you will even know but it's crazy because I think the last time I even posted on Instagram was in December and this is April and I just started posting this April and it was all because of where my head was at I couldn't just bring myself to do anything I was just tired which just naturally brings us to the next thing I want to talk about so while I was going through all of that with my mental health last year it kind of like opened my eyes to different things and now I understand when people say oh people have different friends for different reasons so you have friends you talk about personal stuff with you have friends you talk about financial plans and goals with you have friends you go out with now I understand that but for me I'm someone who generally doesn't even have a lot of people in her circle I don't have a lot of friends and I'm not even one who is big on you know sharing and all of that so when I do share I'm I'm very sensitive and I expect the friend I'm sharing with to be uh, how like what how like we phrase it I expect the friend I'm sharing to be to listen you know and try and help I don't even know how else to phrase it but the irony is I got a lot of it is well belle you need to try harder so you think I'm just here wallowing in this thing and I'm enjoying it like really is that what you think so I used to hate when I hear all those things like you really need to be strong fight it mm -mm. I'm here I'm enjoying it now thing is kicking my butt and you think I'm just here enjoying it so I realized that not everybody knows how to deal with some things and that's fine that's honestly fine because really not everybody knows how to deal with some things so I lost some friends because they were just insensitive they just thought I was being being a baby they just thought I was being too much so I lost some friends and that's fine and I also realized that while I was showing up for some people even though I was feeling some type of way I would reach out to them sometimes and need them to show up for me and it's like I'm bugging them and the worst part is I communicated this to a couple of them some were like okay receptive we talked about it met halfway while some just blew up in my face and we're currently not speaking and to be honest I'm fine with that because I would do anything and everything to protect my peace and my joy right now so with friendships it was a, it was a bit last year it was a bit ugh. and it's very funny cuz few people reached out to me people who noticed my absence on social media people that I know reached out to me and these are people I don't talk to every day they reached out to me and there's one person who really 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 came through for me it was just one gesture she did and it really touched me and I, I just looked at myself and I was like if somebody is willing to go this hard and this far for you why can't you go this hard and this far for yourself now I know it's a battle it's not easy I'm talking about mental state of mind but see that thing moved me what she did moved me and I'm just really grateful for the people who keep rooting for me who keep cheering me on who keep praying me on I'm really really grateful for family see last year was just somehow but let's 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 move on so the next thing I want to talk about is so I've talked about work mental health friendship I know all of this is adulting but let's talk about adulting in the sense that I actually went to vote <laughs> you guys at my big age I just voted for the first time this year so this is life updates generally so don't think it's all about last year this year I went to vote and on the day we went to vote me and my mom went out because our polling units were very close to each other my niece was watching TV and I'm looking at her like do you know there was a time in my life that this was me I would I, I had no worries like I had no care in the world but now here I am going out to vote because I'm at the age and at the stage where every every action affects me buying fuel is a problem like you'll be calculating <laughs> good like so I wanted to be part of the 
process that would bring about change. So I went out, I voted, even though they tried to frustrate me during the whole PVC period, trying to get my PVC. But I went out, I voted. We all know the craziness that is currently happening with our votes and all of that, but God is in control. So yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is... I did do one thing last year, so I got some clients so it's like an achievement i got some clients and i actually edit their youtube videos and upload so even though i'm not in front of the camera i've actually been behind the scenes editing videos and to be very honest i absolutely enjoy editing videos so i'm thinking i shall not just take this up as a full-time profession you know like i don't know i'm just saying but i currently edit videos for people on youtube so you see i haven't really been off youtube i've just been in the background but yeah so that's one thing that i did and i'm still doing and i really really enjoy it so what next what next do i want to talk about hmm my work with god i will even lie it's been crappy it's been crappy because i was in that phase and in that place in my life where so many things were happening to me and they just clouded clouded my vision in the sense that I was I was focusing more on the negatives than the positives that were actually happening in my life so I just became angry I stopped going to church and it's funny because what am I doing I'm not doing good I'm doing myself I stopped going to church. I was just angry and it's very annoying because I had made a decision to be intentional about my work with God and then all of that happened and that was the time that I know that I should have prayed through it like I should have held on I should have been more steadfast but instead I was just allowing myself go through it and you know be all miserable and anyway so this year I'm going back to being intentional with my work with God like I brought out my Bible my hard copy I have my journal you know all of that because that's what's really really important last last at the end of it all it is our work with God that counts um what else to be honest I, I feel like I had so much to say but now that I'm in front of the camera maybe it's all the time I've used in setting up that has drained me another thing I want to talk about is guys I moved out of my family house yeah so I got my own place and <laughs> the way I got this place there, it wasn't like I've been thinking about it like, oh, I want to get my own place, I want to get, no, not really. So my colleague, who is also my friend, was relocating and she was like, do you want to take my space? And I was just thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, it's not a bad idea. Let me talk to my family about it. So I spoke to my family about it and yeah, we, are, we all agreed. So I moved out, so I didn't go through all that stress of looking for a place, blah, blah, blah. No, I got my own space easily and I really, really like it. I really like where I am. There's light is good, power is good, which <laughs> I like. Uh, my aesthetics are white, gray and pink. I'm sure you can see some of my stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do a house tour, an apartment tour, because I don't know if I have strength for that, to be honest. But if I do come around to doing that, if I do record a house tour, you guys will see it. But just know that most of my pieces are from my friend Lola. I talk about her all the time on Instagram, the Lola Effect NG. You guys should go and follow her. I have like the cutest pieces, if I do say so myself. So I really like my space. It's my happy place. I It's not a lot. Like I didn't put so much in it, but I made it my own like i made in my space when i walk in i feel like oh, yes i'm home so i'm really happy and the environment is very quiet and because it's my space and there's almost always lights i can i can record anytime to be honest this is one of the few times that there's no light and jen is running i can record almost every time to be very honest i'm really happy i have my own space i'm a big girl now <laughs> so you guys should also follow me on instagram because i'm starting this series this living alone series i don't know if i'll do it here on youtube i feel it's quicker to do it on instagram so you might want to follow me this is my handle and so yeah that's where i am these are the things that have been going on with me 
so i'm back on youtube i don't know what my schedule will be right now i don't want to overwhelm myself and put so much pressure on myself to be honest i don't want to do any of that but before i go i would like to ask yes how are you how are you guys doing i missed you i hope you missed me leave me a comment if you haven't yet subscribed you guys please subscribe now let's grow this channel help this girl grow now that i'm back we can do this together so watch out for my next video it's a vlog <laughs> it's a day in my life as an entrepreneur see i know you guys have given me plenty side eyes but you see this particular video when you watch it you understand so please guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe share all that good stuff and i'll see you in my next video i love you guys bye bye